Hello everyone and welcome back to the second part for the rules for of pronunciation. In the last video we talked with rule number seven. Now we will continue with number eight. Okay, and this rule it's talking about the L sound or the L letter. It is said that the L letter will be silent, okay, if it comes um, before the M letter. So this is the case. We have L here and M here. So the L comes before the M. You see, now we will see some, um, uh, some examples. Okay, we have calm, we have palm, and I will continue later on. So as you see that we have L here, that it is followed by an M, so the L will be silent. The palm here as well, the L comes before M, so the L will be silent. I'll show you how to transcribe them. So for instance, for the calm, we will see it as this. It is ka, the first one is ka, ka, a, ka, and m, calm. The L is not existed as you see because it is silent. Fine. Okay, let's continue now with rule number nine. Okay, now in rule number nine, it's talking about the silent p. Okay, now if the pa appears with s or n or t, so the pa will be silent. I'll give you some examples. We have psychology. Okay, as you see that the pa, uh, the pa uh, sound here is silent because it's followed by s. So we say psychology, psychology. I'll give you another example. We have pneumonia. It is pa, then n. Okay, so it is said to be pneumonia, pneumonia. The pass sound here is silent since it's followed by um, n. Okay, let's continue. Now, uh, the coming one, number 10, is mainly about the H letter. Okay, it is said that the H letter will be silent at the beginning of some words. Actually, it doesn't have a, a specific rule, but we can say that it is, um, it's existed in English. So we have uh, words like our and honest. Okay, let's see what we have. Now, it is said that the H at the beginning of these words are not pronounced. So we don't say our, we say our, our, and we say honest, okay? So the H in these words is supposed to be silent. Fine, let's continue to the next rule, okay? It is so important. It is actually regarding the S sound, the S. Now, this S is not uh, if it comes uh, originally at the sentence, or uh, sorry, at the word, but if it is a uh, plural S with nouns, or if it is with third person singular S that is used with verbs. I'll see you how. Now, um, what I mean by plural is something like when we say girls. Okay, so how to deal with this S. Now, the word girls is noun, fine. And this noun is a plural. Let's see uh, some other words um, regarding the third person singular S with the verbs. When we say reads, okay, if I, if I say, of course, this is a verb. When I say, for instance, she reads. Now, how to deal with this S? It is said that this S has three realizations, actually. It is pronounced in three ways. The first one, so this S, it could be said as sa or as z or as is. Okay, let's see how. I'll give you an example for each one. So the first one, okay, the sa is supposed to be pronounced as sa. Um, 
fine. Okay, like when we say cats, this is a plural noun, or when I say drinks. Okay, let's see how. So uh, the plural S here is pronounced as so. We say cats, cats. And for the verb, it is said to be S as well. As we say, drinks, drinks. Fine. Now the second realization is Z. We will see how. We have dogs and we have learns. The verb learns. Okay. Now, for the dogs, the S, the plural S here, is pronounced as Z. We say dogs. Dogs. And for the third person singular S here, it's pronounced as Z as well. We say learns. Okay. Now, the third real uh, realization for the S is to be S. Like this one. Okay. I'll give you some examples. We have churches, okay, and we have teaches. Okay, let's see how to pronounce them. Now, this S is a plural S to pluralize the word church. It is said to be churches, okay, churches, the same as with the word languages. Don't say language. It is languages, okay? Uh, for the verbs, we have S here. Again, it is pronounced as S. We say teaches. Teaches. Okay. This is the end of 11. Let's continue now with number 12. Now, in 12, actually, we're talking about the ED. The ED that is added to the, um, uh, to the verb to show the past tense. It is called past tense mark. Okay, so simply if I say, for example, okay, simply when I say look, okay, plus ed, it, it equals locked. Okay, now we will see how to pronounce this ed. Actually, this ed as um, the same as the S, this ED, okay, has three realizations as well. It could be pronounced as a T, or as a D, or as ED. We will see how. I'll give you an example for each one. Fine. Okay. So, ED here. So, it could be said as T. Words like this one and this one. Okay, now if we say ask plus ed, it will be said as asked, asked. So this ed is pronounced as t, asked. And the same as with look plus ed, it will be said as locked. Not looked or looked, okay, it will be locked, okay, as a t sound. Okay, let's see then the uh, second case. The ED will be pronounced as ID. We will see how we have this one. Okay, this is a, an example. Okay, if I ask you to say climb plus ED, okay, this ED will be said as ID. We will say climbed, climbed. Okay, so it will be said as it does, climbed. Fine. Now, the next case is for this ED to be said as it. Okay, let's see how. We have, for instance, this one. And we have, um, okay, that's all. Fine. So, if we say visit plus ED, this ED will be said as it. We say visited, visited, okay? The same as with uploaded, downloaded, and so on. Okay, this is the end of the 12. Let's continue now with rule number 13. Okay, now in 13, it is uh, regarding the 
um, again, the C um, uh, letter, but when it comes in combination with S. So we have this combination. So how to pronounce it? Okay, I'll give you some examples. Uh, in combination with S, we have uh, to pronounce this combination, okay, as a S. I'll give you some examples. We have these words. Okay. And we have... Okay, let's see what you have. So here, I have S plus C. The pronunciation here is S. Okay, we say muscle, muscle. And here again, we have S and the S. Okay, the pronunciation of it is the S as well. We don't say S or something like that. It is said to be scissors. Similar to scenario and uh, ascent, okay? Sometimes this combination will not be sa as well, okay? I'll give you some examples. Like when we say, for instance, this word, okay? We don't say sul, we say school, okay? So this one is not sa, it will be sa, and this one is ka, okay? So sa plus ka, it will be school. Okay, but with the words that I've mentioned before, like scissors, muscles, it is said to be sa. Okay, let's continue now to, uh, or move to 14, rule number 14. It is talking about the W letter, or the wa letter. Actually, this will be silent, okay, in words in which the W is followed by ra sound. Or, uh, sorry, ra letter. I'll give you some examples. So we have, for instance, this one and this one. Okay. Now, this is the W that is followed by ra. This is the W that is followed by ra. It is said to be right and rap. Rap. I'll give you just how to uh, phonetically transcribe such words. Okay. For instance, this one. Right, simply I'll say right. Okay, as you uh, see, we don't have W in the phonetic transcription, it is silent. The same as with uh, rap, wrong, wreck, wrestle, and so on. Okay, let's continue. So, the last rule in this video is number 15, okay? It is talking about the silent ta. Okay. Uh, the ta is silent with or in the in some uh, words in English. Actually, it doesn't have a, um, a specific rule, but these words are there. We have words like castle. Okay. We have, uh, for instance, listen. Okay, so as you say, or as you see, we have um, the ta here is silent, the ta here is silent. We say castle, listen, okay, castle, listen. I'll give you some more examples, like when we say this one, we say soften, soften. We don't say soften, it is soften. This one is silent, soften. And we have, um, for instance, fasten, like this. Fasten. Okay? So, this ta is silent as well. We say fasten. Okay? Similar to Christmas, uh, thistle. Um, some words are derived from French, like when we say uh, ballet. Okay? Like this one. Okay? So, this ta is silent and actually it's derived from French. We say ballet. Okay guys, this is the end of this video. I'll continue next time. Thank you.